in my garden by my spring house. Little buds of green. I know. I, I, I heard like angel music. <laughs> I, yeah, they, they, so we're gonna get there. It's less than three weeks, uh, a little more than three weeks until spring is here. And that means plow and hearth. Uh, plow and hearth is this wonderful family owned and operated business. And this will not offend them. They know me of complete lunatics, crackpots and fun people. Am I right? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, they uh, every year at the National Hardware Show, uh, we get together, we go to dinner. They are just this wonderfully fun group of people that know how to get the most out of life. And all of their designers are the same way. These are the new wind spinners. I've never had a chance to present these before. Very first day that they've ever been presented on three easy pays. And at $33 and change, it's one of their more affordable spinners. Yes. Uh, Nancy Brandmuller usually is our, our plow and hearth representative, but apparently every once in a while she wants a day off. <laughs> <laughs> she deserves it. She, she works does. hard. She, she works she's hard. such a nice lady. So this is Lindsay Givens. How are you? Hi, sweetheart. And I've known Good Lindsay for you. years. Yes. Lindsay and I worked together. Uh, backstage. Yeah, backstage. And now she's, <laughs> you get not only the shepherd's hook, look how decorative that is, but then you get these optical illusion yes. wind spinners that become these. Uh, Eye catching. Yes. They're just, they're beautiful. They're habit for me that you will become obsessed by looking at these things in a garden, how do I differentiate which one is which so the audience knows what to, got, to buy? So I'm standing in front of the red flower right now. Okay. So if you want to start here. I love that you mentioned that we use designers at Plow and Hearth. I love the fact that we, we make those traditional pieces and give them these eye-catching effects like we have here, done yeah. here. We have that traditional scroll work here, like you say on the red red flower. But that's all. this is all hand welded. Yep. Every element has to be cut out they by use, hand. They bend it by hand. Exactly. It, and it's artistry for your yard. And things you've seen traditionally, but then they add this bit of whimsy and bit of eye-catching effect with this gorgeous die-cast metal spinner here that's just going to draw you in to your garden. And when you come home at night, you see it it's going to reflect that beautiful as you can see the paint has a, a bit of shimmer to it uh -huh. so it's going to glisten in the sun and if any kind of light hits it just gorgeous so this is the red the red flower i have in front of me just beautiful right we've got the the swirl in front here which has a the, blue frame the swirl i've got to tell you is actually already limited we only have how many did you say jerome uh fewer than 150 in the swirl pattern to go around and because they make them by hand, I don't know if I can get them back in. So the third one then must be the sh yes. yellow sunburst. So the yellow sunburst has Look. the green frame, just gorgeous again, like as a sunshine. It's a green. And yep. again, we're in a studio here, so we don't have the sunshine. We don't have the, the natural light. When you when that natural but the light glare hits, off my bald spot. <laughs> when that natural light hits that <laughs> yellow paint, it's just going to be. It has a glisten to it. It's just going to be gorgeous. I love the fact that we again we have these traditional pieces that and we we know and see in our gardens, but then they add this beautiful. I love the spinner. You, you got to see them outside. Look at them outside. Yeah. They really. Uh, my granddaughters, little Maya, can't talk yet. Okay. She's a year old. Just turned a year old. Uh, yesterday, by the way, was my my daughter's birthday. Awesome. I know. I'm not telling Happy you. Happy birthday. Old. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but little Maya, uh, things like this, her eyes, they get big. Yes. And it's just the coolest thing. And I've got to tell you, as adults, it's so easy once we have to start adulting and go to work and pay bills. I know. And Do things. It's so easy to forget that childlike wonder of, of just wow. So it's kind of fun to add a little wow to your garden. Well, I also like the height here, Dan, because okay. this is a medium height, so it's not going to be as tall as our traditional right. spinners you know in from fact. Plow and Hearth. They're about five or six foot high. This is obviously in a table here, so it's our. our so they're going to come. They're going to come. About about, here. Yeah, exactly. Chest height, maybe waist height, depending on how tall you are. But I love the fact that there is there, you don't find things in this height uh, often in the garden. That's true. And I like having the different yeah. layers, you know, places you can't get height with flowers or trees, maybe in your yard. Just adding that and uh, just having that eye catching effect. I always say gardening is like a like a like a sport. You want to be the best player in the team, like you know, and the, see, you want see, your you garden. Say, you say it nicer because you're a nicer sport. person it's than a, me. And you want uh, your your gardening yard. is a full <laughs> compact contact sport, and you want to beat your neighbor. You do. You want to have yeah. like you want to have the pieces that set your yard apart from everyone else in your neighborhood, and this is absolutely one of those pieces that will. I just, I, it's, it's a competitive sport. I was a competitive soccer player, you know. Oh, like, I know. And so that's the way you think. I, that's the way I think about things. And I just love the fact that I love having pieces like this in my yard that can set me apart from everyone and else. And they're fun. And you're, and you're also doing something else besides just adding whimsy and fun to your garden. Mm -hmm. I had mentioned before, every product has a human quality to it. 
And when it's true human beings that are doing the work instead of just machinery, yes. you're perpetuating an art form and a skill. To be able to take all these pieces, there's a weld there, yep. another one here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And all metal. There's, there's 12 welds on this just to bring that vining to life. They're beautiful pieces. They, they're painted to last outdoors in all elements and you won't be disappointed. The swirl, that swirl will probably be gone. We and only have a handful of those left. It's gonna last season after season, so you don't have to yep. worry about replacing it. That's what I love about Plow and Hearth. Their quality is top notch. It's always fun to work with you. So nice and work Thank with you, you too. Thank you so much. All right, uh, I've got all kinds of folks here. We're gonna talk about an item that I can tell you from personal experience has altered my ability to be here every single day on the air. Uh, I'll tell you a real quick story.